Hello everyone, this is Spaceless and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to go to Mars and then come back to Earth. So, this is going to be the last video of my SFS for Beginners series. And that's because, that's basically it, okay? And if you land on Mars and come back, then you can basically do everything. Okay, so, I mean, if you want to go to Jupiter, then you'll have to follow the same steps. And if you have to go to one of Jupiter's moons, then you have to follow the same steps to be an to go into an orbit around Jupiter and then you can blast off to one of its moons like we did from here on Earth to our, our, our own moon. Okay, so this is kind of good. I mean, not kind of good, but what am I saying? Yeah, so for that, you'll have to first be in orbit around the Earth and this is just me struggling to do that. Yep, I mean, it takes time when I don't use expansion and the reason why i do not use uh, the expansion is because this uh, this series is for the beginners and as i reckon the beginners do not use expansion because no one will be like willing to give off money in a game which he or she doesn't fully understand so yes now we'll have to just go to the map and select mars and then select set as target and then we can see an uh, a transfer window open up yeah the highlighted region just move into the transfer window yes now the earth is in the transfer window now we'll have to go to our orbit into the transfer window and we're already there okay we're already in the transfer window by luck so yes blast off to mars and i don't think that i'll be needing uh this uh, third stage for uh, to land on Mars because there's not much fuel left so I should have swapped the landing leg for some Marsiers for some close encounters but uh, it's okay so you can see uh, orbit raising and raising and raising up until it crosses the Earth's sphere of influence and then eventually intercepts Mars orbit and you can see that the uh, line of closest approach is just getting smaller and so shorter and shorter up until there's a mark a marker to indicate an uh, an encounter and there we go we have an encounter and we just have to settle it you know for some uh, for a precise encounter and I usually go for an aero break encounter and that's because uh, the uh, the atmosphere usually, is, I mean not usually, but uh, the atmosphere slows you down and in this version of the game, in version 1.4.06, uh, the re-entry stress and heat is not included so your spacecraft doesn't burn up during re-entry so it's safe and this is too shallow, yep. Uh, now we have, yep, this is a really good orbit. And here we go. So I have just uh, time warped until I reach Mars. And as I cross the 15 kilometers limit, uh, the time warp uh, autom uh, automatically it uh, gets turned off. I mean, I don't know how to put this in words, but I guess that you guys understand it. And there we go. Uh, so we will automatically be slowed down by the martial atmosphere and if we and if you do not get slowed down in the first um, attempt then it's okay just go on for another and you can do it again and again okay because the uh, atmosphere will eventually slow you down and you have to do it again and again until you reach a circle orbit and yes, if you want to reach a circular orbit, then you should like go and do orbital maneuvers, like a prograde maneuver or something like that. Because, yes, because what I did right now was just for the landing part. And here we go, I have deployed the parachutes and I'm ready for the landing. And here we go, yes, almost there, yep. Oh, damn it. Okay, okay, I hate this part because, yeah, uh, we've landed on Mars successfully. Now it's time to blast off. I'll retract the landing legs for better aerodynamic uh, lift. Or not, no, to reduce drag. Yep, that was what I was trying to say. To reduce drag, and we just have to go into orbit around Mars and then do the same for Earth. I mean, 
uh, we have to select earth and then we have to go to the transfer window and then launch again I mean, I mean not launch but ignite our engines again this is fun but it takes like a, a lot of time so the original clipping is uh, 16 minutes long with some cuts I mean where I I didn't record like when I was trying my best to make a good encounter and when I thought that yes now I can make a good encounter then I turned on the, the recorder and and you guys saw what I did okay on the encounter so yes the the hardest part that I think is making an uh, a good encounter if you are a weird guy like me who just wants to save fuel just say say save fuel and because encounters like these uh, like what I did was an aero capture encounter and this saves a lot of fuel and we'll have to be inside the atmosphere for that just as I did for earth here we are back at home finally after I don't know two years yeah, after two years on Mars, because six months to go, six months to come back, and another year to stay on Mars, because we just, because we don't want to go and just go and, and touch the surface, yep, yeah. I'm sorry, I forgot the word, I don't know what happened, yeah, just go and touch the surface, we're going to stay there, stay there and do a lot of research. Yes, that is what we're going to do when we go to Mars eventually. Elon Musk, please do it. <laughs> please. Uh, well, that was weird. Okay, yep. So now we have to land back on Earth. And I'm trying to do a propulsion landing because I don't know why. I have so less fuel left and I don't know why I'm doing this, but it's fun. And I may crash right now because I'm not used to landing back on earth I'm used to landing on moon on on usually the moon and uh, damn there we go but at least we landed back on earth successfully yay so that is it for today guys thank you thanks a lot for watching the video and join the discord server the link is in the description and hit like if you like the video and sure do subscribe to my channel if you like my content because I would appreciate a sub I really would. Thank you guys.